Intel launched its App App Center half a year ago, bringing apps to consumers on the Windows platform. We welcome Peter Biddle, who is head of uh, Intel's App Software, uh, to tell us what Intel has got to do with App Software now. So, um, uh, Intel's been in software for a long time. We've just traditionally had a supporting role. So, if you look at uh, developer relations engagement, we have been doing uh, the same kind of work that Microsoft, Google, uh, IBM, uh, Apple have been doing for, for decades. Uh, what we haven't been doing is, is really going that last step to do directly deliver software to consumers um, and connect consumers to developers. We're doing that for two reasons. One is we believe that there's a gap in consumer software on PCs. We think that gap can be filled by uh, small long-term developers, the same kind of people who are writing software for the Mac today, or sorry, for the, for the iPhone today and for Android. Um, and secondly, we want to move into devices. And uh, in the device space, you know, as shown to us by um, the success of uh, the iPhone and of Android, you have to have a great software story. So we're investing in, in it for that reason too. You only offer app software for the Windows platform at this point, but the majority of the apps are being used for Android and iPhone's iOS. What's next to come from Intel? So right now we support Windows and also Linux in the form of uh, Moblin and Migo. So those are the, the variants of Linux that we've been involved in. Um, and we definitely are looking to expand our coverage to more devices. So we're very excited about being on tablets um, and phones and TVs and cars, right? We're focused on, on PCs now. Um, and, you know, we very much uh, look at uh, sort of what the ecosystem needs. So we're talking with our partners and if partners say, hey, you know, we really like you to support this platform, then you know, we're looking at those very sincerely. Apps have triggered a revolution in the way software is both created and used. What's Intel's role in this area? Uh, so we think it's a really exciting you know, time to be, to be in this business. And uh, we also think that this is just the beginning. So a lot of people think that, oh, you know, it's a foregone conclusion, you know, th this company's in the best position. So there are companies that clearly are in very good positions here. But uh, I think that if you look back two years from now, you'll be thinking, wow, we, did, you know, we as an industry didn't really understand what we were, uh, what we were doing and or we were on top of, just like looking back two years from here. Um, so what, what you know, we bring to the table is we have been doing developer relations uh, programs for a long time. We understand the, the sort of art of development. We've got half a million developers in the overall Intel developer program. Um, this is across the board from data center all the way down to consumer. Uh, we have 32,000 developers enrolled um, in uh, the app up developer program. 16,000 of them have filed that, the tax documentation required, you know, gone to the post office, which for a developer is a big deal, right? That's a, we have to get off, you know, get out from underneath the workstation um, uh, or the laptop. And um, uh, this, this really the past year, uh, both the beta and now that we've released, has, has reaffirmed this notion that there is uh, a desire in the development community for a single, you know, cohesive way of, for example, doing billing or licensing or provisioning. Um, and, you know, we're working with them to, to sort of meet that. Intel has a very interesting research program going on called Contextual Computing. Can you tell us a few words about this? Absolutely. Uh, contextual computing is really about giving computers and software the ability to understand what users are doing so that they can provide differing experiences, different opportunities, depending on, uh, on the context of the user and the device and the environment. So uh, some examples are, um, and, and we're, we're looking at this from both a software and a hardware perspective, we actually think there's a lot of potential value in uh, pushing some of the important context pieces that are currently done in software into the hardware. They'll be more responsive, they'll be more power efficient, um, they'll be better at, at, at some of the things they do. So just some examples are um, uh, running. If you're running, um, are you running uh, because you're jogging from an, an exercise perspective? Are you running to catch a train? Uh, are you running from fire? Are you running to try to find a hospital? Right? These are different kinds of running, and the context around those and, and what your computer ought to be doing for you when you start running, for example, or you stop running, is quite different. Um, another example of con contextual computing in the same kind of vein is bicycling. If you're bicycling on a commu uh, commuter route right, that you've taken for the past week, and you then stop and start pushing your bike, 
you know, is that because you got a flat tire? Is there something we need to help you with? I mean, like, you know, these are the kinds of things that contextual computing, we think, can really bring to sort of the fabric of how we use computers.